We just saw the exchangeability assumption and how it allows us to identify the causal effect. However, exchangeability assumes a causal graph that looks like this, where basically we're saying that there is no confounding. If there is a covariate x, it doesn't confound the effect of treatment on the outcome. But we're often interested in settings where there is confounding. So in this graph on the bottom, x is a common cause of both t and y, so it confounds the effect of t on y. In this setting, we have conditional exchangeability, which is that the potential outcome y1 and y0 are independent of t conditional on x. Graphically, that means that when we condition on x, we block the confounding. We'll see this more concretely, concretely next week when we study graphical causal models. Just as we used exchangeability to identify the average treatment effect, we can use conditional exchangeability. In this case, we're going to identify what's called the conditional average treatment effect. So here we're looking at the expected difference in potential outcomes conditioned on x. In this first equation, we just use linearity of expectation. Then here we use conditional exchangeability. So because we have independence of the potential outcomes in the treatment conditional on x, we can introduce the treatment into the equation here. And introducing treatment behind the conditioning bar here is just a consequence of conditional independence. Finally, the potential outcome y1 given treatment equals 1 is the same thing as just the observed outcome given treatment equals 1, and similarly with treatment equals 0. So we've turned this conditional average treatment effect that we started with into a difference between just two statistical quantities. We've identified the conditional average treatment effect. However, you might be interested in just the regular average treatment effect where we're not conditioning on x. This is what we were able to identify with exchangeability. And we can identify that using the adjustment formula. To get the adjustment formula, we simply marginalize out x. So we just took what we had on the previous slide and added the expectation over x on the outside. To get some graphical intuition for this, consider that this is our causal graph, where x is a confounder of the effect of the treatment on the outcome. Then what we're doing is we're conditioning on x here and marginalizing over it to, in order to adjust for x. And that graphically corresponds to blocking the confounding at x there. Again, we'll see this more in detail next week when we cover graphical models, but right now we're just trying to motivate those. Importantly, we've identified the average treatment effect here using the conditional exchangeability assumption, and we've labeled this important result the adjustment formula. Conditional exchangeability, or ignorability, goes by many names. One popular name is unconfoundedness, and we'll use it a lot. We list many of the other names in the associated reading for this section, but for now we'll use unconfoundedness. And an important thing to highlight about this assumption is that in general, unconfoundedness is an untestable assumption. So in this graph, we have that we do have conditional exchangeability. When we condition on X, we get that the potential outcomes and treatment are independent. We have conditional exchangeability given X. but what if there is some other w here that is also a confounder of the effect of t on y? Then we don't have conditional exchangeability given x. And w here is unobserved. In general, we never know if there are unobserved confounders. So that's why unconfoundedness is an untestable assumption.